Hey yo, what's up guys? My name Hello. is My name is Don. Sam over here. Don't ever interrupt me again in the <laughs> intro. I'm so sorry. Uh, we are the Soul Brothers. Yep. In case you did not know and you just happened to stumble on our video and you're like, who the fuck are these guys and what are they doing here? Yep. All right. Well, we're a white guy and an Asian guy and we talk to you about basketball shoes. I'm black. Oh, I'm sorry. Black guy and uh, Armenian guy. <laughs> but, uh, okay, we're the Soul Brothers. We're going to do another top five list. Top five? And this is a real top five. We're not doing top six. We've been sneaking a top five in the title for clickbait. Mean, mine is a top six. It is? <laughs> this one's always breaking the rules, man. That's uh, so what Damn. you got to do. But hey, you know he, lives life, he lives life on the edge. Exactly. What are you going to do? You know, it's what a bad man. <laughs> uh, but, okay, we're going to do the top five high cut shoes. Okay. Or like mid to yeah. the high. These are like, some of them are like not super highs and... You know, but they're definitely not lows. Yeah. Put it that way. It's like mid to high. Yeah. Okay. Um, since we did the lows, you guys were asking for the high, low, mid to high. So we're like, okay. And then I'll, I'll start because uh, I have six. So I'll just do the first two. And for me, it's the KD8 Elite. Mm. Um, it, it is a very nice shoe. Um, that is a consolation because um, I it's, it feels like a low. It is a low. Not. It basically is a low. Yeah. So maybe but you I get a little bit, yeah. That's why I just call it like a uh, honorable mention. Yeah, honorable mention, I guess. A lot yeah. of guys, it's a little, bit, but I don't know. But anyway, those are nice. And then the number five for me would be the Jordan Thirty. Mm -hmm. um, the traction's really nice. Uh, the only reason I didn't uh, like, it, the only reason it wasn't higher up on the list for me is because it's a little clunky feeling for me. Uh, I, I just, I just hate the the heel, just mm -hmm. like in the, the twenty nine and thirty. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can't really feel the zoom, but it's very responsive. Uh, the fit is nice, and the materials are really nice too. So mm -hmm. um, there's that. My number five is kind of a budget shoe. It's the Nike Audacity. Audacity. Um, great high mid cut shoe. Um, a lot of ankle support. It's really cheap, which is cool. Uh, it's Air Max in the heel, which is really nice in the heel. I was actually impressed with. Uh, the rest is just a Phylon. It's a really light shoe but you feel well taken care of. It's like a mesh upper. And I was really impressed with the shoe. Uh, performed really well, especially for the price. Traction was also really solid. Um, so all around a good shoe and even a good shoe for outdoors, I would say. Yep. So that's my number five. Okay, my number four is the J. Crow Sola 3. Mm. Um, <clears throat> the only thing I don't like about this shoe, uh, the reason I'm telling you what I didn't like about it is because I liked everything else. Um, you know what I'm saying? But uh, the one thing I didn't like about the shoe was the cushion because uh, one for one is uh, I felt really high on the, off the ground and usually I don't really care about being low to the ground but in those I just felt really high for some reason and there's really no bounciness at all. There's a good amount, of, there's a lot of impact protection though which feels nice but uh, that was one thing that I didn't like. Everything else, the materials are super nice, the traction is on point. Uh, the fit is really nice. It's, it's a very supportive shoe, so um, that's why it's my number four. I don't really play in it that much anymore, though. Mm -hmm. but he does. Yeah. Okay, your number four. My number four is the D Row Six. D Row Six, uh, which is an incredible shoe, really great shoe. D Row Six. Uh, it's a signature model by a pretty big player uh, who's a point guard, but it's actually a pretty good shoe for a big guy, in my opinion. The uh, big boy. The big big boy. So the big boy. There's very good ankle protection. Uh, it's full length boost, which is awesome. The traction is really really good. Mm -hmm. I would not recommend it for outdoors, however. Um, and all around just a really solid shoe. Um, a few things why it's not up to the top top. Uh, you know, I was really, really hype on the shoe when it first came out, I, re I really love it still. But um, fit wise, um, lockdown was a little bit hard for me. I'm either strangling my foot or it's a little too loose, which kind of bugs me. So it's not really like one of my main go-tos right now. Um, so, and, and another thing is it's, it is a little bit bulky feeling. But other than that, it's a solid uh, high shoe. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, my number three would have to be the LeBron 13s. Mm. Um, the thing I didn't like about this shoe is the materials and just how hard, um, how, how, how much it killed my pinky toes or just my toes in general mm -hmm. uh, from doing cuts. I don't know why it kills my toes so much, but... It's a toe killer. It's a toe killer. Um, but other than that, the traction is really nice. Uh, just try to get the solid rubber outsole. Um, 
a lot of you guys are asking should I get the translucent outsole or the rubber outsole I'm just like they're both rubber so I think you're talking about the solid rubber mm -hmm. um, but yeah <clears throat> just get the solid rubber uh, the solid rubber is better than the translucent because it pick us, picks up less dust mm -hmm. the cushion is really nice the material is very supportive and the fit is pretty nice for my foot so there you go word word my number three is the Under Armour Curry 2. Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry, uh, which is a phenomenal shoe, obviously. Uh, also a pretty cheap shoe, not fully budget, but definitely not uh, on par with a lot of the other signature models by Nike and Adidas uh, as far as price. Now the tech is really cool. The cushion I don't love, but if I want to feel quick and explosive, it's a very responsive cushion, uh, minimal bounce, and there's really no slop or lag in the cushion. Upper is really cool too. Um, it's a really light shoe, and and I kind of just feel super light and quick on my feet in the shoe. Exactly. And but it is still a high, and it takes care of your ankles. It's not insane ankle protection, but if uh, I do wear an ankle brace, it's, with an ankle brace. So does Sam. So and that's one of the best shoes to wear with an ankle brace, um, because the ankle is like really really thin. And obviously, uh, Stephen Curry wears two ankle braces at all times, so his shoe really needs to work with an ankle brace. So if you wear an ankle brace, I would definitely suggest getting the Curry 2s. What's your number two? Should I have included the Kyrie's or are those more of like no, a low? No, that's not range? high. Really? Okay. No. Well, there's that. Okay, um, my num numero dos is the uh, Under Armour Clutch Fit Drive Highlight. I think mm. it's a dose, but I think it's just one. I'm not sure. But it's a highlight. The one that's crazy high. Uh, it's like a condom for your leg. Mm -hmm. uh, you need that protection, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You don't want any... any um, no, no glove, no love. <laughs> exactly. But anyways, um, uh, it's a very nice shoe. There's a, uh, one thing I love about the shoe is that I do not have to wear an ankle brace with that shoe. Um, when I'm really lazy, I don't want to put my freaking ankle brace on. It takes forever. So I just put this shoe on. Uh, my ankles are good. The traction is very good. It just attracts a good amount of dust, which is really annoying. I have to wipe really frequently. Uh, the cushion is nice, um, it's, it's just full length charge, nothing special, it just gives you a good amount of impact protection and responsiveness. Um, one, ah, there's really, uh, one thing I don't like about the shoe is the traction, but everything else is very nice. Mm -hmm. Materials are really nice, I love the clutch fit material, it's very soft yet supportive. Um, and yeah. Alright, my number two is the Jordan 30. Now this isn't super high, it's almost even on the verge of being a mid, uh, but it's a... Uh, the ankle protection is, is decent to me. Um, and uh, so that's, and plus the shoe is phenomenal in my opinion. The main reasons I like this shoe is the traction is off the charts and the lockdown is second to none. Uh, best lockdown I've ever had in a shoe. And the fit is also really good. However, I do have a narrow foot and if you have a wide foot, it may be way too um, narrow for you. So make sure you try uh, try the shoe on if you're, if you're a wide footer first. Uh, but very, very insane specs, you know, the performance woven upper, it's some of the best tech you can get. They do put some zoom in it, you can't feel it much, but you do get a ton of response. Um, but that is a $200 shoe, so keep that in mind. But that's my number two. Exactly. My number one is the Curry 2. Mm -hmm. uh, that's my favorite shoe right now to play in. Um, I always, usually always have it in, in my bag as a backup. Uh, everything is nice in that shoe. I have no complaints besides the cushion. Um, I really like the cushion, but I, uh, if I could change it, I would. It's like it's like one of those things where it's like it's there's really nothing wrong with it. But if I could improve it, I would. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The fit is perfect. The materials are really nice. It's a really light shoe, and I feel really explosive when I play basketball in it. And the traction is really nice. Uh, the charge cushion is plush. Um, it gives good a, a good amount of impact protection. It's not bouncy at all, really, um, and um, yeah, it's yep. a uh, very, very nice shoe. I hey. like, I like hey. it very much. Okay, my number uno uh, is a shoe that just started getting better and better to me uh, as I was wearing it, and it is a high, and it's the JC3. JC3. By Brand Black, the Jamal Crawford, the J Crawford, J Crossover 3. <laughs> right. uh, Crawford. Just to break it down. Uh, for you guys, but okay, this shoe is uh, the heel to toe transition is amazing, right? Yeah, yep. it's it's really a you know as opposed to the Jordan 30, which is clunky. I do agree with Sam. Yeah, so the the shoe just kind of flows from heel to toe. I really love that. Also, there's a shroud around the ankle, which looks wise I don't really love, 
but it does add you know some ankle support which is really good so i feel really taken care of in the ankle uh you all right yeah okay the pen's not working all right uh and you know the traction is off the charts really love the traction the cushion i wish it was jetlon uh so you know I, I don't know. I mean, I, I really wish, I, but I still like it. There's still impact protection, um, but you do get a ton of response. And the uh, the it's like a uh, ballistic nylon upper, which is reminds me of a performance woven, super light shoe. But it, I don't know, for some reason, I just want to rock it. And when I'm playing on them, I don't really know I'm wearing them. And the step in comfort is, is really plush. Um, so that's my number one. Number one now? So I think if we were to meet with our list, the number one would probably be the Curry 2. The Curry 2, right? yeah. So, you know, because my number two was the Jordan 30, but your, your your Jordan 30 was way low. Yeah. So I think if we were to both pick one, you know, if we can just give you a number one, it would be the Curry 2 to simplify it for you guys. So the very nice shoe. Another thing I wanted to touch on real quick is ankle protection, okay? Never will a shoe ever save your ankle from, a, from being uh, sprained or from getting your ankle rolled. Uh, you know, ankle rolls usually happen from stepping on someone's foot, right? So the st stability on the bottom kind of throws your ankle off. And uh, some people say that highs don't do anything. I don't agree with that at all. I think that having a good solid high will never keep you from rolling your ankle, but it can minimize the impact of that roll. And, uh, and an ankle brace will also definitely help minimize that but even an ankle brace won't save your ankle mm -hmm. if you really really roll it um and even for me just having high ankle coverage has that placebo effect it has like a placebo effect in in uh i just don't roll my ankle when i wear my ankle brace yeah. you know I, I don't know what it is and when i do sometimes i'll start to roll it but it doesn't really you know because all it takes is a little bit too much of uh of the weight being pushed off right to push it over the edge and just fully you know, uh, snap your ankle or, <laughs> snap your ankle. you know, whatever it may be. Uh -huh. Um, so yeah, that, I just want to touch on that real quick. Uh, never will a high save your ankle from, but it does help, but it does help in my honest opinion yep. of my, all my years of playing basketball. So there it is. That is the top five Six. highs, mid to high cuts. There was one, uh, shoe that really, really wasn't a high dog. Yeah. So I, I asked him before the video, and he's like, oh, sure, you should include it. And now I just wanted to put him on blast shit. in the video. He's giving me shit now. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, dog. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. That's the top five high top slash low, I mean, uh, slash, you know, high mids. In our opinion, in the Soul Brothers' opinion, hope we helped you guys out. We will be back with more top five videos like this. If you like videos like this, also, we have another channel called Trendsy. We do top lists and talk about other stuff. Go check that shit Go out. Go check that shit out. Subscribe to it. Um, we appreciate all the support. Like, subscribe, and share. My name is Don. Sorry, here. We are the Soul Brothers. Later. Thanks.